We're in Puerto Morales. We made it. Back to, to Mexico. Mexico, just in time for Scott's birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's a good birthday present. You wake yet? I'm not awake yet either. We're uh, heading, uh, see? I don't know how we can. Here we go. We woke up at 3 this morning. 3 a.m. One of us could uh, actually sleep because, you know, mm -hmm. so really, we didn't actually sleep. Mm -hmm. Slammed a coffee and <laughs> then uh, got in a cab to head to the airport in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. We're heading back to the sun. Got to see our kids. Which was some, awesome. Most of our kids. Three out of four. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and some other family. Mm -hmm. um, got to experience snow. Did you miss snow? No. I didn't miss I didn't snow. miss it at all. It was pretty for about five minutes. So to those of you who think you don't like humidity, ugh. This weather is it's drying dry. me out <laughs> everywhere. Ah. Yeah. Anyway. And yeah, like Kathy said, we're off to uh, Cancun next, where we'll be spending about a month. Except we won't be in Cancun. We'll no. be in Puerto Morelos. Puerto Morelos. Never been there yet. Mm -hmm. So, Making any sense because we're so tired, 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 tired. And none of the coffee shops are open. No, and, it's too early. Yeah. Yeah, Vancouver is a beautiful airport, but at four, no, it's five o'clock now in the morning. Nothing's open, so we are incoherent, and I apologize for that. Just cut it out of the <laughs> video. You, don't, yeah, you yeah. don't even need to keep it in there. Yeah, we can keep it in there because no. this is real life. Okay, this is real on. life, dude. Yesterday we traveled, we got up at 3 o'clock in the morning in Vancouver um, to the airport, hopped on an Aeromexico plane. Good flight. Yep. Yep. Been good. Flew for five and a half hours almost. Like that. And then we were in Mexico City for a while. Yep. A couple hours more on a plane to Cancun. Yep. And we did have a situation, Kathy's luggage was temporarily misplaced, uh, but really want to mention Aeromexico did a great job of getting it back to us. Mm -hmm. It was very early in the morning. 3.30 a.m. this morning <laughs> they were. But hey. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We so got I didn't it. have to even go a day without my clothes. Yeah. Yeah. And so we will be spending the next, approximately next month in Puerto Morales and uh, air, areas close by. And we've got some family coming to visit. And um, I think we're going to have some fun here. It looks like a really cute place. They, um, it, they block off one block of the street. It's actually quite a long block. Um, restaurants put their tables out on the street and uh, it becomes a bit of a stroll and you can wander up and down the street to uh, find what really uh, whets your appetite. So we're going to try that out tonight. We're, um, tonight we're trying tacos at tacos.com. And uh, we've got the whole family with us. Uh, my mom, Molly, Malcolm, and of course, Kathy and I. I ordered a can 
Tarito, which is uh, a drink, a me- authentic Mexican drink from Guadalajara. 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 It's making my and eyes water. It, and it has, I think it's pink grapefruit, orange Four. juice, lime, and tequila, of course. In a measuring cup. In a measuring cup. Here, here we go for that. It's like filled to the brim. I think I gotta mix it up. Uh, I think I gotta mix. Uh, and it's I'm spilling it on myself. Cheers. It's fresh orange juice. It's fresh orange juice. That's all I tasted. I think I got a little bit of. Oops. I think I got a little bit of tequila there. Let me mix it more. I took a sip, so there's room to mix it. That's pretty good. I need to taste this on camera, so here we go. It's um habanero uh it. stuff, yeah. <laughs> Spill it on myself. It can't yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's spicy, but not like yeah. It's good. No, I thought maybe it would be um, a little bit sweeter, but no, just spice. Good. <laughs> These two sauces, we have a uh, salsa verde, which is a little bit spicy. That's jalapeno. And then Molly already showed you the habanero sauce. So I'm going to start with the, with the salsa verde. It's nice and creamy. Put a, a gen- generous dollop on it. Yeah. I think it's got poblano chilies in there too. Oh yeah, that'd be too spicy for coffee. And now let's do the habanero. Oops, oops, I dripped on the chips. Mm. That's like a pickle sauce. Yeah, that's spicy. It'll be fun to watch Kathy eat these. Holy cow, yeah. I'm going to try this green sauce, whatever it is. It's also verde. Salsa verde? I like it. Do you want to smell it? <laughs> I will. Mm-hmm. No, that's good. Okay, and this is the hot one? Or the habanero? habanero? A little bit, right? Or a lot. Try a lot. <laughs> sure. That's what I put on. About like that. That's good too. Yeah. Thumbs up. I give it an eight. Oh, now it hurts. <laughs> 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 that was hot. <laughs> oh, Kathy, no. <laughs> See, I was, I was actually thinking no. I'd go more because you were so calm about it. But no, maybe not. Maybe not. All right. Alrighty. So the jalapeno salsa verde, right? The jalapeno salsa verde. It looks creamy and um, delicious. So. Not too bad. It's got a. Well, it's not too bad. It is a little bit hot, but my mouth is still burning. Ooh. That's like um, way too many jalapenos on my nachos. <laughs> okay, let's try. All right, so should I go for it with this? Oh, crazy. Why not? You're a delicate flower. <laughs> Spoonful. Oh, I don't like it. That's a real. I don't like it. Oh no! <laughs> I said afterwards. Well, want a drink? <laughs> I don't like tequila either. No, I think I'm okay. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I'll have some spray. Milk, yogurt. No, no, the bubbles don't help. That's oh. Gone. Well, that's me and spice. I've got 
the um, crab tacos, Mexican crab tacos. I can't remember what they're called. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot sauce on it. Um, I'm doing the Valentina hot sauce. And um, it's a bit messy. They're very full. It's, um, it's very hot. Mexican crab meat and cheese and poblano cherry. Oh, it's uh, red pepper. It's green pepper, it's red meat. Okay, here it goes. You don't taste the crab right away, but then it comes in afterwards and it's really tasty. Let me taste another taste. Very good, tacos.com. When the sun goes down, the street called Javier Rojo Gomez comes to life. While strolling down the street, you'll experience a small Mexican town bustle. There's just enough people to make it interesting, and the karaoke bars add a soundtrack to your evening stroll. interested in the all-inclusive experience but you do want to spoil yourself and have a, a lounge chair on the beach and be served your drinks and uh, maybe lunch maybe even dinner then I recommend attending a beach club um, beach clubs in Puerto Morales um, usually don't have a fee uh, there is a rental for a lounge chair um, but they have servers that come to your chair uh, and um, serve you your, your drinks and your, your food, and uh, very friendly. It's not very crowded, um, and you're right on the edge of the Caribbean Sea. Rental for a, uh, a rental for two chairs and a palapas over your head is uh, quite reasonable. I think we are paying 200 pesos, which uh, Canadian is uh, about $14, and that's for the entire day. So, food for thought, if you're interested in uh, spoiling yourself for a day, give a beach club a try. Although I stayed close to shore, Puerto Morales has one of the best reefs in the Mayan Riviera for snorkeling and exploring sea life. Unico Beach Club in Puerto Morales, and um, it's lovely sitting at the ocean. I just ordered a ceviche vegetariano, and um, I'm about to try it. Looks really good. Mango, tomato, avocado, mushrooms, cilantro, sprouts. part cilantro so just even that is a win it's really really good 
I got ceviche carabeno with with uh, mixed seafood. So it's got shrimp, fish, and octopus in it. Um, it's got mango, tomatoes, onions, and um, aguacate, which is uh, avocado. So here we go. Here we go. Ready? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's a mixture of the um, citrus, but it's also a little bit sweet because of the mangoes. And it has toasted uh, sesame seeds in it as well, which gives it a, a, a unique flavor. Thumbs up, recommend it. Many beach clubs offer other amenities, such as spas, a place to get a nice relaxing massage. Small stores in case you forgot something, such as sunscreen. Pool, often located in a shady area, perfect for children. Today we went to uh, an Ocho, or so, Oxo. It's very much like a 7-Eleven in North America, or a, a, you know, a convenience store. We kind of raided their candy section, uh, looking for authentic Mexican uh, candy. But we don't know if it's authentic Mexican candy. We bought it from a Mexican. We're store. That's in all. Mexico. I know. We but... bought it at a Mexican store. I think some people around the table here are a little bit nervous because we. Uh, heard that some of it might be a bit on the spicy side. Oh, no, I, I will probably like some of that stuff. Um, we have a whole bowl full of um, good stuff here. Uh, squinkalote, squinkalotes, whatever that. Foritas, confitados, uh, pulperindo, which I think has kind of. I saw someone grab a handful of these, so I thought, well, it might be good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we picked some healthy stuff. I mean, <laughs> okay, these squinkles, it's is gonna be hot too, there's fire on it. This is a chewy thing that's filled with uh, piña, pineapple flavor, I guess, but I think this is gonna be hot. It's like a licorice that's filled. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Kathy loved it. The first bite's fine. Oh, oh my god, no. Thank you. What? I think we're good. Okay, you can have the squinkles. We've seen these. We've seen these particular confections uh, all over Mexico. Mm -hmm. It's made with um, um, peanuts. It's like, it looks kind of like they're pretty cold. That is really good. It's like icing sugar, <laughs> almost, and like peanut butter. How do you eat it? Well, because it all it kind of fell apart. Mm -hmm. It's icing sugar. Mm -hmm. It like melts in your mouth. I want to have more. You can. It's so good. It's so good. This, so I don't know what it's called. But it's got really big lots of things. A lot of plates. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like. Sandwiches. Like this. It looks oh. like... Oh! <laughs> I think I'm looking. It's the whole thing. It's good. <laughs> See? <laughs> Not really. Mm -mm. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's watermelon inside. Mm -hmm. Like watermelon candy. Mm -hmm. It's on the outside, though. Uh, not yeah. too bad. Yeah. Not, not like yeah. some more. Yeah. Like, not, yeah. Okay. Tim gives this one a one. You have it. You have it. Want to try it? I'm by a woman. Mm -hmm. I'm influenced by other people. I did not it's an interesting flavor. It's sweet and salty and tart. Oh, I don't mind that. Maybe I'm getting used to this Mexican <laughs> candy. I kind of like the fact that the Mexican candies aren't just sweet. It's sweet and salty. Like there's a there's a after spice mm -hmm. that's coming through quite a bit right now. <laughs> <laughs>
Whoa, it's hot. I like this. It's got a smoky flavor, too. It is yeah, smoky, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh. It's really hot afterwards. I can remember. <laughs> oh, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, these are my absolute favorite. Oh, yeah. Mango michas. Oh. oh, that's almost the same. Like what you like. I love mm. these. Yeah, oh, that's good. The mango flavor yeah. is really, really good. Mm. Mm. The it's ones, get hot though. The ones I usually get are more gummy. These ones are... Maybe they're stale. <laughs> no. Well, uh, can you have it? I don't know. All right. Oh, this was chewier than mine. Mine was like... <laughs> yeah, this one's gummier. Is there lots more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one I like. That whole thing, is that a... Um... <laughs> yeah, do that, do that. It's not spicy. That one's fine. You like tamarind, you said. You said. <laughs> Except it's taking my partial out. <laughs> My nose is running from all the... <laughs>